Welcome to QQ Catalyst. This video is an overview of how to run standard reports pertaining to commissions. There are reports that will help you in, um, in basically keeping track of your commissions that are standard reports that are located within our standard libraries. The first report that we're going to look at is the outstanding uh, report which can be for the agency and it can also be for the producer. So with standard reports there is no option to edit the information um, or to delete them from your library. You simply run this um, particular report based on uh, either the parent group or also based on the carrier. Now you can put in multiple groups or multiple insurance carriers into this report or you can do it individually. So once this report is pulled it will give you a list of all the outstanding commissions that are due to your agency based on the insurance in the insured's name. It splits it or separates them by carrier, gives you a subtotal. It includes the insured's name, the um, line of business, the effective date. It also gives you the agency commission that's due, anything that has been paid up to date and what if anything was paid what the balance is. So if you notice here at the bottom we have a total commission of three hundred and twelve dollars and thirty cents. We received two oh eight. That means we still have an outstanding amount of a hundred and four dollars that are due from the carrier to your agency. We also have another report, Outstanding Commission Report, for producers. So if I wanted to run a, um, an Outstanding Commission Report on one producer or multiple producers, we can do that. Uh, let's take a look and let's run this on one individual. And again, this will break it down by producer and give you a subtotal and at the end. It will also give you a grand total of any outstanding amount that is due to your producer. It includes the insured's name, the insurance company, the line of business, effective date, as well as the commission due, any amount paid, and also any balance remaining. So at the very end of the page, or the report I should say, you will have a grand total of what's outstanding to your producer. Now another report is the net commission report. So I'm going to just do a search for net commission report and this will allow you to pull a report by specific time frames. So if I wanted to see all the commissions paid let's say from uh, June 1st of last year all the way to today's date I can go ahead and put in those dates and what this basically does is it breaks it down by carrier. It groups it by carrier and parent carrier and it shows me exactly how much money was or how much commission was earned um, with this carrier, uh, what was paid out to the producer and what my total net commission is. And then at the very bottom it also shows me what that total commission net commission earned for that time frame is with my entire group. Okay, the last report that we have is going to be the producer um, pay, payment report. And this will show you is uh, a report that can be uh, done by a one specific producer or agent. for a specific time frame. So again, if I wanted to bring this back all the way to maybe May of last year, all the way to today's date, this will show me all the payments that were made to this producer and at what time frame. So this will show me all the payments made to the producer and chargebacks as well. And at the very end, you have a grand total of what was paid to the producer at this particular during that particular time frame. And those are the reports um, that we are covering for today.